New York State is making a national call for healthcare workers to volunteer their time, come here to New York, and deal with the ever rising caseload of the coronavirus here in New York State. We need to recruit more healthcare workers. We need to share healthcare professionals within this state and within this country. As governor of New York, I am asking healthcare professionals across the country, if you don't have a healthcare crisis in your community, please come help us in New York now. We need relief. We need relief for nurses who are working 12-hour uh, shifts, one after the other after the other. We need relief for doctors. We need relief for attendants. So if you're not busy, come help us, please. And we will return the favor. That was Governor Andrew Cuomo speaking at the Javits Center in Manhattan on Monday. He also responded to some comments from President Donald Trump also on Monday. Trump suggested on Fox and Friends Monday morning that Cuomo may make a better Democratic nominee for president than the current presumptive nominee, Joe Biden. I am not engaging the president in politics. Uh, my only goal is to engage the president in partnership. This is no time for politics. Uh, and, you know, lead by example. I'm not going to get into a political uh, dispute with the president. I'm not going to rise to the bait of a political challenge. I'm not running for president. I was never running for president. I said from day one I wasn't running for president. I'm not running for president now. I'm not playing politics. I just want partnership to deal with this. The number of deaths from the coronavirus in New York also topped 1,000 for the first time on Monday. Here's Cuomo running through Monday's latest numbers. In terms of the overall numbers, 66,000 have tested positive, 9,500 people are currently hospitalized, 2,000 ICU patients, 4,000 patients are discharged. Uh, that's an increase of 632. Uh, you don't often uh, focus on this line when we have these conversations, but people go into the hospital and people leave the hospital, and that's important to remember. 1,200 is up from 965 deaths. Yesterday, what you're seeing is people who have been, ventilator, been on ventilators for a long period of time. The longer you're on a ventilator, the less likely you will ever come off that ventilator. This is all happening in the background of the state budget, which is due here in Albany on Tuesday. Some criminal justice advocates held a digital press conference Monday morning calling for no bail rollbacks. You'll remember that some Democrats want to change the state's new laws on cash bail. Those advocates saying Monday that they don't want any changes to the new laws. We started this fight in New York State with the passing of new legislation that has opened the jail cells and gave meaning to the phrase, the presumption of innocence. Our message today is that we, we will no longer accept your oppression. We will no longer fill the jail cells with the bodies of black and brown people. And we are here to, uh, to expose the fear-mongering tactics for, for what they truly are, misinformation and lies from the pits of hell. And from what we're hearing, a budget is expected tomorrow. There were some concerns that it might be delayed because of the coronavirus pandemic. But as of now, those bills are expected to be voted on tomorrow. That's Tuesday. Until then, I'm Dan Clark here at the State Capitol for New York Now. Funding for New York Now is provided by WNET.